it is time. Right. Welcome to Galaxy Jams Reacts, everybody. Uh, we have our very special guest, Gabriel Marin, here from Consider the Source. Um, I am EJ. Over here is my partner, Mike. And we're going to listen to some more tunes, like from this band. This was released in 2017. Uh, it's a band called Mammal Hands, a British band from Norwich. Members include Jordan no, Smart, really Nick Smart, and Jesse Barrett. Kind of along the style, the style of like um, ambient jazz, electronic music, and world music all combined into one. Uh, oh, if you've cool. heard Go Go Penguin, they're kind of a little bit like Go Go Penguin, and they um, have toured with them as well. So uh, let's check it out. Mammal Hands, Boreal Forest. Boreal. I love when drummers put the little symbol on the drum like that. I know, I know. The, the Dave King from the Bad Plus is the first guy I saw. Oh yeah, I love stuff. the Bad Plus. They're one of my favorite bands ever. They're Hell, yeah, absolute top, top favorite bands for me. Oh, that's a cool. I love soprano sax when it's not cheesy. It's my favorite horn. And the bent one like this is cool. The sound is good too. It's recorded nicely. Sounds great. This is great. Well, that's cool looking. Yeah, that, that was cool. cool. That was cool. That projection on the drum head. Yeah. This is great. I feel like I'm in a big montage. Sounds, like, sounds like a Philip. This is like this part like Philip Glass almost. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Like this sounds like a Philip Glass, Glass one. Oh, it's a trio piano sax drums. That's cool, cool yeah. man. Yeah, they're Scandinavian. Are they are they European or? Ah, you know? uh, from England, British. England, okay. Yeah. Ooh, this is nice. I think it's uh, the saxophonist and the piano player are brothers. Yes. I love that Yeah, line. See, this is great. Yeah. Sweet. See, this is really cool because it has like a jazz tonality, but the harmony is like really European harmony and rhythm and stuff like that. Yeah. Which I, which I really like when fans do that. It sounds inspiring. Yeah. Ooh. Sweet drums yeah. like that. Drums. Sweet. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. The little, the little symb drummers put cymbals on your drums like that. It's always awesome sounding. I remember seeing the Bad Plus at the Village Vanguard, you know, probably 2007, 2008. And he would be playing with toys and stuff, and it was just so inspiring to watch him. Yeah, their drummer play. is absolutely insane. Speaking of the Bad Plus and bands like that, I remember seeing there was a band in Richmond one time, they're called the Former Champions. You ever see them? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, we used to play with them all the time. I remember that name. Yeah, yeah their drummer I used, that to, used to do that, He used too. to drag chains across right. his yeah. uh, drum set and get these that. really cool sounds. Former Champions. That yeah, was like the oldest free jazz uh Ed Blackwell was a free jazz drummer in the late '60s. He played with Ornette Coleman and stuff, and he was one of the first guys I think to play with like those, those put chains on the drums and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, all those early those that the Milford Graves, all those like old free jazz drummers are really they would play every element, and that was the thing. Watching like Dave King from the Bad Plus play, he was playing every part of his drums. Yeah, every and part. That was really to me. I play every part of my guitar. You know, watching him, I was like, okay. You know, and, yeah. and, and I also beforehand, we used to play with like, get my guitar with like toys and quarters and stuff. And so watching him do it with drums was also like, okay, that, that's like a a different way of doing it. And he's producing such cool sounds. Like I remember he, I'll never forget, it was he was playing the solo and he, like, he had a little fill and all of he did the whole fill on the stands under the drums, the band stopped it. And it was like, the, and I just remember like, oh, that was, 
so much cooler than if he did like a big choppy drum, you know, showing off drum fill. It was just so much more like, what the fuck was that? You know, and so exactly. I, I feel like it's because like, for example, like Picasso, he's a great artist, but he's more famous for breaking the rules than he is for right. going by the rules. Like that drummer. You're he knew how to about. follow them first. Yeah, exactly. Like, for example, you were you just nailed it. You're like, if he did a normal drum solo is different than when right. the guy broke the rules and did something that, right. you know, it's normally like, you know, they're not teaching you to do that when you're going to do music school to, to play on all those different parts of the kit, you know, like that. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, yeah. I just and love, that's one of the things. Go on. No, you can say. No, you I, was, I was just going to say that I love when drummers use a lot of toys, you know, to get a lot more out of their kit, including the stands and underneath and things like that. I like when all instruments, the extended technique for all instruments, you know, it's like everything has been played so much right now that there's like, you know, you know, playing fast is great. And, you know, there's always going to be someone that can play faster and stuff. It's like, can you play original sounds you know most of my favorite saxophone players play sounds that you know sound like you don't know how to play sax at point you know what i'm saying but they're unbelievable so you got to get to a point of skill where you can sound but if you don't have that skill like if someone couldn't paint they couldn't paint like picasso picasso could paint unbelievably well Mm -hmm. and then he paints that shit like coltrane was the great you know he could play the, the saxophone as well as you could play the saxophone and then he went past it and he started playing this, this other stuff. So you got to like, in my opinion, if you're going to, the weirder your shit's going to be, the better you got to be at playing normal stuff too. Like Cecil Taylor is one of my favorite free jazz players, but he knew how to, he played, you know, he played Western classical music right. too. And then, you know, he could go play the the, the craziest shit. Well, it's even if, uh, if you think of like chefs, let's switch it to food, right? If you think of chefs, they have to know the basics before they can do the gourmet. You can't just go straight to the oh, gourmet. Yeah. You can't make a deconstructed right. grilled cheese unless you learn how to make, make the a best great grilled, grilled cheese. cheese, the best grilled cheese, or the best right. scrambled exactly. eggs, or whatever. I mean, because a lot right. of the stuff yeah, is so exactly. simple. It's the simple exercises you go through, so you know how you know where you can go with that to to bring on the uh, the flair. Um, exactly. And, uh, great. To they got to wear a lot of flair. They got to put pieces of flair on. You know. <laughs> great oh uh, yeah they gotta That's have all this all the flair great point ej oh. <laughs> and it's a cool video yeah you know, it's, well done it's, video yeah it's the flame but it and just the luck of like some stuff you know but it's not too much but it's just not so here's the band here's some things yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I like I switch with the the rhythm. Nice. Yeah. I'm definitely Ooh. gonna check this band out. Just going to some break some break beats. Circuit the breathing action happening here. That's cool. The hardest thing to try to learn how to do. Yeah. Do you know who holds the longest note? Longest circuit of breathe node record? It's a uh... dude. No. It's not who you wanted to be. Kenny G. Yeah, Kenny G. I was thinking Big Yanni, Ken. and I knew that wasn't right. Big Ken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big KG. This is fresh. Yeah, I love this a lot. Woo-hoo. What a big sound for three guys. Yeah, you're right. That's the thing, piano is like a mini orchestra. You know, piano is really like, I, I don't really love solo stuff. I think piano is the only solo instrument in a lot of ways that I can, it's the best solo instrument, I think. It's like a, it's like a rhythm, it's melody, it's harmony, you know. Uh-huh. And this, yeah, man, I wonder if these guys like do more improvisational stuff because they write tunes. Mark, this tune was great. That was great. Oh, that was great. I, I don't That's know. I was um exactly. I just ran across these guys uh yesterday. Cool. And I was like, Good. Thank you for showing Ooh. me this, man. Thank you for showing me this. This is fresh. I, you... I think uh, I think 
John, the CTS bassist, would love this. I'm going to send this mm-hmm. to him right after this. I think this is uh, killing. If you like that a lot, you'd love Go Go Penguin. So just yeah, go ahead and put, put uh, yeah, Go Go Penguin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know Go Go Penguin. Because yeah. they, I mean, you know, the bad. Yeah, well, that's exactly the order I went. I was like, okay, the bad plus, like the bad plus, and then I was like, right. oh, it went years with the bad plus, yeah. and I was like, oh, Go Go Penguin, and, you know. And, and then I'll add one more to that. Uh, S. Bjorn Svensson, uh, EST, the S. Bjorn Svensson trio. He died, un- uh, unfortunately, uh, a while ago at like a scuba diving accident. They would have been. They would have been the tops. They were the first uh, non-American group on the cover of like Downbeat or Jazz Times. They were Swedish, piano, bass, drums, trio. Uh, man, man, uh, EST, Esborn. Listen to like a Serenade for the Renegade or when God created the coffee break or something. Like they were really great, man. They, that was like a, and they, they were really like at that same, you know, as good as like, the top level of that so check that out i definitely will cool that was a great pick ej thanks Thanks for sharing that 